Hey there, today I'd like to show you how to transfer your images onto metal. I do it for engraving, people do it for all kinds of reasons, but it comes up often, uh, you know, people ask, how do you do it? The method I use is the laser printer toner transfer using acetone. For those of you who are impatient, the summary is this. You print it off with the laser printer, you put it on your surface, ink side or toner side down, you rub acetone on the back, let it dry, peel the paper off, and your image is there. It's as simple as that. Now if you'd like to hear the tips and tricks and process that I use to make sure that it works well, let's jump into that. What you're going to need are a laser printer, acetone, and optionally tape. I use clear packing tape, it works amazing. I've also had luck with blue uh, painter's tape. So there are five steps to this process. Designing, preparing for print, printing, preparing for transfer, and transferring. Let's talk about design. I personally design on an iPad. I split all of my different aspects of a drawing into different layers so that I have outlines, shading, stuff like that on different layers. Uh, that just makes it easier for me. Everybody uses different software. Everybody uses different methods. It's kind of irrelevant to this video, so I won't go into it. Design your artwork. After you design your artwork, you have to prepare it for print. What I do is I take a photo of the item that I'm wanting to transfer to next to a ruler. Then I open Photoshop and I create a page that is letter size, 8.5 by 11 at 300 dpi. I drag out two rulers that are one inch apart. And then when I import my image, I can scale it so that the ruler lines up with those one inch marks and I know that my image is going to print at the correct size. I then import my artwork. I turn the transparency down a little bit so that I can see through it and I line it up to the surface. Once you have it lined up, optionally you can do things like add markers for key identifying points because it's kind of hard when you're aligning your art on something to tell if you're lined up because you're looking at the back of the page. And then I print it. Usually I hide the original image and uh, you, have, you also have to remember you have to flip your image because when you're putting it down it's backwards, right? I then make multiple copies at various sizes. I like to have a big one as reference. So I print a single page. That's your printing step. That's just it, you print. After that is preparing for the transfer. To prepare for the transfer you have to cut out your design, cut it accurately, cut it as close as possible. That helps with aligning it. As you saw before, I added little marks and tabs to point out the sharp points here and that helped me align it as well. So after you've got it cut out, you need to clean your surface. Uh, use acetone and just wipe it clean. That will get rid of any oils or, or any materials that are on the surface from shipping, from the manufacturer, from handling. And then this step really improved my transfers. I take clear packing tape and I just lay it on there, smooth it on, and peel it off a couple times. That will pull off any, any oils as well, but I suspect that also leaves the tiniest bit of glue residue on the surface that helps the toner adhere. I'm not entirely sure if that's what happens, but you know what? I don't care. It works, and it makes it work better, so I do it. Maybe it's in my mind. You lay your paper on top of the surface at this point. Remember, toner side down and you dab the back with acetone. Be sure you're holding it extremely still. If you move it, your image comes out blurry. You get acetone on the entire back and you let it dry. This only takes a few seconds. The acetone dries extremely quickly. You can tell by looking at it if it's dry. Then you peel off the paper and your image is transferred. You can see the detail is okay. If, I, if you really zoom in under your scope, you'll be able to see individual dots from the, the printer itself. I guess that probably depends on your printer. So that's why I don't do shading in my designs because it ends up just being a kind of blob on there when you get into really fine shading and I'd rather it not be in my way. The resultant transfer is actually pretty rugged. As you can see, it's not rubbing off with my hand on here, I'll even lick my finger and rub on it and it doesn't rub off. Uh, some surfaces it will though. 
So I found that you know wearing a rubber glove or a, a latex glove can help keep your knuckles from dragging across the surface and rubbing it off if that surface doesn't have as, as good of an adhesion. This, however, is not going to come off. I'll have to use acetone to rub this off to get rid of this print. So that's it. It's not extremely difficult. It's actually faster and easier to do than it is to describe. So um, there you have it. That's the method I use. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.